everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and i will also be setting up some other spreads but first if you guys are new to my channel welcome and if you guys are returning subscribers welcome as well i really appreciate your views and you guys being here so uh let's get started with stuffing my cash envelopes and here i have my cash envelopes now i do sell these in my etsy shop if you guys are interested there's a link down below where you guys can go check them out i also have these kinds of envelopes so if you guys are interested there are also for sale in my etsy shop and i do have a set of six like right here or i also have a set of ten and these ones I have a set of six only um, and they are not exactly in this exact pattern there's different pattern I also sell cash breakdown cards like these ones right here and right now these are free whenever you make a purchase so you will get a cash breakdown card for free with your purchase. I also have free shipping whenever you place a $35 order. Okay, so if you guys are interested, by all means, go check out my Etsy shop. There's the link down below. So let's get started with stuffing my cash envelopes and we will we'll do it like this. I wanna get everything in frame. Hopefully I'm at there. So let's start. I did go to the bank today and i used one of my cash breakdown cards and i got my cash right here so i have my cash right here so let's put it only have that and that okay so for spending, I have $75 for my husband and $75 for myself. So I'll just put it up together and I'll put $150. Just put it here for spending. And then for groceries, it's $700. So one, two, oops, one, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count that again. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there you go. For gas, I budgeted $350. So do one, two, three, 350. I have that. And then for my household, it's two hundred dollars, so I'm gonna have two hundred dollars here. Okay, and then eating out, I have two hundred. So I do fifty, hundred, and then I'll put a hundred over here, making that two hundred dollars. That is it for my cash envelopes. Now I will be setting up my other spreads, which is. Here, I will be setting up my variable income and my paycheck spread okay so let me get started on that and then I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done
I did do my paycheck spread right here. And as you guys can see, I did it differently than if you guys saw my last month's budget, you guys saw that I did it different. I just want to try it out and see what works better. So um, I do have my variable income spread here. And I also did this one right here because last month, I'll show you guys, last month I left it like that. I didn't use it. So I kind of want to start my debt total here and see how much I have in debt. And when I am talking about my debt, it's my credit cards. I don't want to include my car payment or anything like that just yet. We want to pay off our credit cards first and then we will, um, you know, start with the car. That is that. And then I did this page for my notes. Now here I like to write out, um, if I go to the bank and I make a deposit, you know, when you deposit, it just shows the total of money that you deposited. It doesn't show for what. So I like to know what I deposit for. I have a bank sticker and then I put the total amount that I deposited, the date, and what the money I deposited was for. If it was for savings, if it was for bills, if it was for some other extra payment, that way I know that I have it here. And whenever that gets charged, um, I just, you know, check it off. And yeah, so I guess this is all for this video. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.